Yes, you a cat person? We've got all kinds of animals uh, in my house, but we're full right now. Uh, so far this month, it's been unusual to talk about cold weather, so it's been a little strange this week, even more so that we've now had four days in a row of below average high temperatures. The average high this time of year is 51. Today was our sixth day overall, but remember how warm the month started. Now tomorrow the streak ends because we're back above average, and it's going to stay that way maybe for the next week and a half. And after clouds return to the area today, they're still hanging with us tonight. A couple areas of showers will watch in that will be here tomorrow. This batch of rain offshore and another batch, a much larger one, coming in from the southwest. It's not going to rain all day. It's not a washout, not a severe weather threat. But in the morning time, you'll have to dodge a few scattered showers as you leave for work and school. It won't be in the 20s, though. 38 is where we start tomorrow morning. And as we go hour by hour through the day, you can see we jump up to near 50 by lunchtime. And then we'll stay in the mid, even upper 50s throughout the day tomorrow. But Tomorrow's one of those days where a warm front moving through will send temperatures all over the place. Some of us will be a lot warmer than others. Some of us are going to be wishing for 60s, which someone's going to wind up. But late tomorrow night, that's when most of the rain will come. And I know some of you haven't really been outside a lot early on this week because it's been so cold. So thanks to Clarence for providing us with this super sun rise from last week. Sun's coming up these days at 722. And I'll stick this on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page so you can take a second look. And we're not going to have much sun tomorrow morning because clouds have arrived. Rain coming next. Here's that warm front that's going to move through our area or at least halfway through coming from the south before the rain gets here so if the front passes your area it's going to be a little warmer that's more likely to happen down in the sand hills and partially here in the triangle but whatever happens with temperatures will all eventually get rain and here's how it's going to happen let's start it at 3 a.m when again we're dry we're watching some rain off to the west and yes there is other than rain back to the west, but that is not our problem. It is a rain-only event for us. They could have some frozen precipitation back west, but not here. At 6 and 7 a.m., a couple scattered showers moving through. We'll continue that through about 9 and 10. And then we'll get some dry time in the middle part of the day, including around lunchtime. Remember, most of the rain later Friday night. Friday for the afternoon commute home dry but still mostly cloudy and again warming up a little by nine o'clock few more scattered showers the main line just to our west it'll be pushing through through late friday night here we are about 1 a.m so the heart of central north carolina getting some heavier rain maybe some rumbles of thunder but again severe weather not a huge concern for us and that rain is out of here by 6 a.m saturday leaving us with dry weather saturday and sunday and more sunshine and warmer temperatures. This morning, no, it was not warm, 25 degrees, but we're in the upper 30s tomorrow morning, 40s Saturday morning, and then a little chilly again by Sunday morning. So on your extended forecast, we've got 50s Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Rain likely for everyone Friday night, but dry Saturday and Sunday. Your seven-day forecast keeps us in the 50s through most of next week, brings a little bit of rain back Wednesday and Thursday. And your exclusive 10-day forecast brings us into February next weekend with a few small rain chances sticking around. But it's good rain chances 24 hours from now. We're going to be watching some heavy rain, maybe even some thunderstorms rolling through. Bill and Laura will be here tomorrow starting at 4.30 for an update on all the timing of what we got coming our way Friday. All right. Thanks, Wes.